Hi everybody, we're gonna do a what's on. So we are renaming again the what am I wearing and why segment. Um, someone on Instagram comments very wisely proposed. And I have to say I really liked it. It's a very elegant name. It sums up what we're trying to do with the segment, which is talk about what we are wearing and why we are wearing it and what happens to be going on at the store. So what's on? All right, so today I'm wearing the Armory's Model 101 suit. This is our in-house made to measure model. I'm wearing it in the Drapper's Ascot 2 ply. Um, so this is a high twist wool, very, very light, um, very crisp, and it's great for the current Hong Kong climate that we're experiencing right now. I'm wearing a 100 hands shirt in cotton linen. This just arrived in the store uh, last week. I'm wearing a seven fold tie. Uh, I'm wearing a pair of Koji Suzuki double monks. And for my wrist check today, I've got a Patek Philippe 3919 SG. And you know what? People always ask me about my eyewear, and I always forget to mention it. I'm wearing a pair of Anne and Valentine glasses. Let's see. Why don't we start with the, with the watch today? Just because like, I quite like this one, and I wanted to give you guys a little look at it. The 3919 reference for Patek Philippe is a time-only manual wind hobnail style reference. And uh, they usually come in Roman numerals. And they look great, and they're really not expensive for what they are. Like, you can still find tons of them on, on the secondary market. This particular one is kind of interesting, though, because this particular one was made for Singapore. So it's a special edition made for Singapore in white gold with an enamel dial, which you no don't normally see. And also, the Roman numerals are sans serif rather than serifed. So what that means is that they don't have that kind of those curly bits at the ends of the lines. You know, a lot of people might say, oh, I really dislike Roman numerals. Um, but, you know, I'm not, for instance, the biggest fan of Roman numerals. But when it comes to sans serif Roman numerals like this, I absolutely love them. Um, so keep that in mind. Next time you are kind of considering a watch and you're thinking about, like, whether or not you want to look at Roman numeral watches, sans serif could actually be what you were looking for all along. Um, speaking of watches, also, I wanted to show here, if I can get this watch back on. All right, I want to show over here. This is the Bennett Winch watch roll. So Bennett Winch designed this in conjunction with Wei Ko, who's the founder of Revolution Watch, as well as the Rake. And he has done a fabulous job. It's an awesome, awesome design. Um, it's this beautiful one, two, three, four, five, six hexagonal thing um, that has snap buttons and opens up, holds the watches, of course, and then actually has a little tray. So you can actually take the watches off and put them on the tray if you are showing someone or you just want a little bit of kind of a soft area for you to handle your watches on. We'll go into a little more detail on that one in a second. Um, as I mentioned, I'm wearing this Drapper's Ascot 2 ply. Uh, you know, 2 ply is an interesting cloth because it's high twist, but it's very thin. And so I really wanted to show this on video because then you get a sense of like, how does such a thin cloth actually move and react? You know, like it can sometimes look quite wrinkly uh, if you're in a static photo. Like you literally have to stand perfect for it not to, you know, look a little bit messier than you might expect. But you know, with such a light cloth, you have to accept that sort of thing too. It just comes to the territory. Um, so I will go into a little bit more detail on some of my favorite selections in the Ascot Books two ply section, as well as just give you a bit more of a closer look at this particular suit and kind of what you might expect with a two ply because you know you can do it made to order with any of our vendors or you know if you're not an armory customer and you're just curious about making a suit and two ply like um well this is roughly how it would turn out okay finally shirts 100 hands shirts so we just got these in the store in hong kong last week um we didn't stock any for new york they're just a hong kong exclusive for now if you would like to order one you of course can uh through your local new york salesperson um these are the fabrics that we made them this time so we have purple stripe blue and white stripe this blue cotton linen chambray that I'm wearing right now, and then a blue textured cotton and a white textured cotton. I'm gonna do a little styling video and show you how to put those things together in a second as well. Alrighty, that is about it for now, and thank you for watching What's On. 